Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. This time we're going to build the Lego Creeper Mine. Once again, there are no tutorials of this build. And of course, I'm going to try to build this thing as close to scale as possible, as always. Which is also probably why people had trouble building this. So, uh, well first of all, we can't make this out of lime wool because there are no wool stairs there um, and actually even if you use a wall because a lot of the time people use walls in place of uh, theoretical vertical slabs but it goes in the middle and it just makes the eye look completely terrible so so this was the compromise that I made and I think it looks pretty good really um, yeah, the water is completely functional and everything. It goes down and everything. It's a little bit more complicated than you think. Uh, in place of the movable TNT walls, you know, just have gravel. But yeah, this, this thing is completely functional. Um, disclaimer, you're going to have to use commands for this build. You're going to have to uh, give yourself barrier blocks. Oh, and one important thing before we start the build, make sure you do game rule. Do fire tick false, okay? So you're going to input this command here. Do that because that is going to keep stuff from burning, okay? So let's go ahead and get on with the build. Okay, let's start with the groundwork. Sand, red sand, dark oak planks, deep slate, stone, and water buckets. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Skip three, and then two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And had those in the corner right there. Now let's build these up a little. Um, you're going to want to leave a 3x3 three three gap here. And now let's build the regular sand up. Um, also this corner, but not that corner. So let's go ahead and do that. And then starting from this red sand, we're going to do a two wide trench all the way across. Okay, and also an extra one, two, three. Okay. And also this here between the two different sands. Alright, just like that. Also get rid of these grass blocks here. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to have wood right over there. Okay, and for... Here, let's just place a block here. Okay, um, now we're going to do deep slate. Now, because of the texture of it, it's going to be important that you're consistent how you place the block. So, deep slate all the way from that border to that border. So let's just place them all on the side like this. Careful not to uh, disturb the pattern of the texture here. Otherwise, it's just going to look really messy. Okay. And once again, we're going to have an entire trench full of water here so we're gonna wanna just to make this look tidy we're gonna wanna do one layer underground mm. yeah oops 
Okay, and that texture, oh good. So yep, all the way across there. I'll do six by three. And then three by three of stone. And three by three of stone. And then this is what we'll have for the groundwork, okay? Uh, fill in all this water. Okay, good enough flowing water. Okay, and then here's this is uh, above what it's going to look like. Okay, good, good. Next up, we have the cactus. Moss carpet, brown carpet, stone, gray carpet, dead bush, rail, and mine cart with chest. Okay. You're going to make that too high. Put this on top to keep it growing any further. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, at the border of this red sand, uh, do that. Okay. And then uh, this is going to go all the way to the end of the wood. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Now we're going to work on the creeper's legs. <coughs> so, block of coal, wax oxidized cut copper, wax oxidized cut copper slab, ladder, anvil, lime bed, and furnace. Okay. Make these four high. Two, three, four. Okay. Uh, do this to the top, and then do two rows of top slabs. Okay. All right. Uh, ladder three. Ladder three. Okay. And then this is what that's gonna look like. Okay. Get a good look. There we go. Now, we're going to decorate the red sand a little. So, farmland, wheat seeds, sugar cane, warp button, and oak sign. Now these, they're going to end up growing. That's just the way it is. Sugar cane, we can keep from growing by putting this warp button over here. And then we put a sign. So the second line, you're going to want forward slash and eight underscores. And then for the top, just like, it's going to end up being a left arrow, so just align that. Okay, and do that, uh, uh, let's see, backslash on the third line, backslash on the fourth line. So you just, there. And make sure it all lines up, so you have an arrow sign. Okay, very simple stuff. Okay, so next we're going to do the cave-in on the left side of the build. You're going to need stone, stone slab, oak sign, deep slate, cobble deep slate, slab, gravel, gray carpet, and TNT. So go right in the middle here, and then, uh, real quick, let's put a sign. We're going to do uh, forward slash backslash forward slash space exclamation point space backslash so just just one space in between each of those and you know this is a caution sign so just space this out appropriately there we go uh, yeah oh oh yeah and then of course uh, right you're gonna want underscores on the last line uh, there we go. So it's going to look like this. Okay. So this is our sign here. All right. Build that up a little. Put a uh, bottom slab and a top slab. Okay. And then just uh, one, two, three. So this is seven. This is going to be seven tall right here. Okay. 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 And then replace these with stone. Put some uh, more stone here. And then we're going to put some gravel across here. 
Okay. Five in the middle, three in the middle, two on the left side there. Let's hover back around to this side where we have the deep site. We have one block here, one slab next to it, one carpet just like that, TNT just like that, okay. And this is what it's going to look like, okay, good, good. And that is the cave in for the left side of the build. A stone, skeleton skull, lava bucket, gray carpet, cobble deep slate, deep slate slab, and the barrier block. So just input this command, give at p minecraft barrier, okay? Do that. All right. So three by three. And also build up three right there. Put a skeleton skull. Do a two by five of stone. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Uh, like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Just so you get a good view. Now, when you place the lava, it's gonna make this stone pattern. So let's just place these here for reference, because this is what you're gonna want to put your barriers around. Boom! Uh, uh, it should disappear. There we go. And also one on the left side of this where the skull is. Okay, and then place the lava. And it should be pretty mist free. Yep, and it looks just like that. Okay, that's it for this lava section here. Let's finish up the front of the creeper's body. You'll need waxed oxidized cut copper, stone, loom, banner pattern, lime banner, black dye, blue stained glass, chest, and oak fence gate. Uh, so right over here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And let's put this stove down just too high. And let's go ahead and work on our banner here real quick. So combine all of these. Okay. Boom. Okay, so just put it in the middle. So one, two, three. Yeah, so three above and three below. And then just uh, make all of this blue stained glass except for like where the tops of these banners are. I'm just gonna Put a little chest hanging there on the bar. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. Next up in this uh, middle path here, you're going to want stone, stone slab, gray carpet, gold ore, stone stairs, water bucket, dark oak planks, gravel, and TNT. So, just in the middle here. Uh, two and three and go ahead and replace these ones in the middle with waterlogged stairs okay just like that and we can delete these now so waterlogged stairs uh, so three high and a little bit more and then four high Put some slabs, uh, gray carpets, two gold ore, two of these. Okay. So, yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, here's a good look. Slab, two, three, three, four. Okay, there you go. To the left of this little minecart stopper block thingy uh, is two wood and a pattern of gravel and a TNT. Okay, so this is sticking on through here because it's like the wood was there and it caved in on top of it. 
that's what that looks like. Okay, put gray carpet here, make a little too high of everything. Okay, all across there and also right here. And replace those four. So we got a little stone wall too high, little carpet there, two gold, and two gold. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. And that is the, well, right side cave in. Okay. Next up stone, gold ore, hopper, stone slab, cyan stained glass, wax oxidized cut copper, and yeah, do the command again. Yep, there's the command variable. Okay, there you go. So let's just. Uh, Okay, got a little opening there. Uh, okay, and of course, these bigger blocks will keep the water from running all over the place. Okay, so got a little thingy there. Okay, gold on the bottom right of this. Okay. And gold on there. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's almost, it's getting ready to be done here. Come over to this side of the creeper. We're going to put two stone on the left of those bricks and also right there. Uh, fill everything else with this copper. Okay, very good. Come over to this side of the creeper, we'll put one stone next to the gold and one stone between the gold. Rest will be copper. Okay, and just like that, we have the rest of the uh, creeper's torso. Next up for the oak gates, we're going to have dark oak fence, dark oak planks, torch, item frame, diamond pickaxe, and debug stick. Uh, okay, give at p minecraft debug stick. Okay, got it, got it. Boom, there we go. All right, on top of these, uh, oh boy, these deep slates. Ooh, 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 there's a deep slate. You're just gonna put four high or two, three. Four, connect them. Okay, torch in the middle, and then on top of these. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Connect them. Torch in the middle. Three torch, two, two torches in the back. Item frame, and that in the front. Now it's time for the debug stick. So. Let's see, so left click or right trigger or whatever you use to break blocks toggles what you're going to do. And then the right click um, actually does the thingy. So it's really just, see, south to false, whatever. Um, depending on whatever your orientation is, just play around with it. It's Oh, not that one. There we go. It's not that hard to figure out. Uh, let's see. Nope. So, yeah, debug stick. Ooh, and also. There. Okay. And that looks nice and neat. There we go. So, we are really tidying up here. Almost done. Stone, stone slab, great carpet, and TNT. Just to get this all nice and there. All the way across there. These two have things on top. And once again, all the way across. One, two, three, and TNT. Amazing. All right. Deep slate, cobble deep slate slab and water bucket. Go into your creeper, okay. 
it's gonna flow towards this side on top of where the water is you're gonna put two blocks okay two blocks and one slab and then we're going to do one thingy of water again so basically the problem is we want heavy things to fall right heavy things fall in the water but heavy things do not fall in, in uh, flowing water so we gotta break up the water here so that's what the slab is for it breaks up the water but it's small enough to allow an item to pass through and then really we just go ahead and repeat this pattern so okay we Is that last but not least the head of the creeper wax oxidized cut copper wax oxidized cut copper stairs wax oxidized cut copper slab block of coal and black banner now let's just place some of these blocks uh, goes a little bit out in front of the body and make them four high two three four okay uh, down facing stairs, up facing stairs, down facing stairs, up facing stairs. Okay, repeat the pattern. Okay, and actually, we are going to want. Solid blocks. Go. Okay. Uh, slabs. Yep. Okay. And let's put. Yeah, this is going to be up here too. And I actually put it on top of that block so you don't drop anything on it because then it won't go down. And one, two, one, two. Yep, there you go. See? Okay, that is the head of the creeper. So let's test it out, shall we? And it works. And now we've got our chest filled with nuggets. So that is the entire build. Happy building. <laughs>